Eight out of ten women believe that if you are fair, you can get more successful in life. This was proved in a study done by Vaseline Healthcare India. Similarly, it's not just women. Men too fall to these nonsensical questions in society. And like in the Western society, men were always considered, you know, more attractive if they are tall, dark, and handsome. Dark. But in India, men need to be fair and handsome. So today, I'm going to be discussing with you the fairness obsession that we Indians have. This fairness obsession of India is not really a secret. And there are many companies who have monetized it and have earned a lot of money on this. The most notorious one is when we talk about Fair and Lovely. Fair and Lovely is a cream that came into the market in 1975. Since 1975 to 2006, the fairness industry in India was nearly costing around $200 million. And Fair and Lovely had a share of around 50 to 70% in this. The other companies were nowhere nearby. Currently, the fairness industry in India values at 450 million US dollars and still Fair and Lovely has a huge share in it. Actually, the maximum share that you can even imagine in it. So how did this company grow and monetize and you know make such misuse of this obsession that we Indians have? It all started with the false claims that they made. Fair and Lovely claimed that they could make you two tones fairer within four to six weeks. Every packet of it or every marketing ad had this shade card on it with six shades and it said it made you two shades lighter. This was a completely false claim. Fair and Lovely as a cream never came under the category of pharmacological drugs in India. So it always bypassed all the testings, all the legal studies that were required. So currently, as a fact, there is no study in India or anywhere in the world that proves that Fair and Lovely is effective and can treat fairness. The Indian Association of Dermatologists, Vendrologists and Leprologists, IADVL, has been trying to fight these claims since a while and this has not been fruitful till recently. Very recently, we have seen that there were few creams such as UB Fair, which was also a cream which was marketed very openly in uh, newspapers and in electronic media. Similarly, there was no scar. Now, these two creams had questionable contents. They had steroid ingredients, they had hydroquinone in them, which are ingredients which you cannot prescribe without a prescription. But they were still being sold over the counter and being marketed as a fairness drug openly in the Indian media. When this was brought to notice for the Drug Controller of India, finally there was a stay order put on their manufacturing and distribution and that's when it actually gave some sense of some positivity to all the dermatologists in India trying to fight this scenario of fairness creams. This problem of having easy access to all these steroid creams or you know these harmful fairness creams is extremely rampant in India. You can easily get steroid creams and people are using them without any medical advice. You can get them you know, from the advice of a beautician, from the advice of your friends, from the advice of a family member. You don't actually need a doctor's prescription in India. Despite the legal rule, they are easily available in India. So people are ready to harm their skin by using such strong creams without knowing their side effects just to become fair. That is how big the obsession of being fair in India is. People are monetizing on it, people are giving you wrong advice on it, and it's about time you thought about your skin, you started caring for it, and using the right products for it. Thanks.